In the digital age, there are lots of exciting opportunities to express oneself online. It is important that students understand how to be a good digital citizen by keeping their online presence positive and staying away from risky or harmful online behavior. Let's learn a little more about digital citizenship and online safety in the next videos. There's an old quote, the more things change, the more they stay the same. A French journalist said that way back in the 1800s. But for many of us, technology has changed daily life and filled it with so many buzzes and chirps and swooshes that the world looks and feels completely different from when we all grew up. But despite all of these advances, the basics of growing up are pretty much the same. Think about it. You used to have marathon phone calls. Now your kids are texting nonstop. You used to spend hours obsessing over the perfect mixtape. Now your kids are creating these crazy video mashups. You cut pictures from magazines to make collages. Now they just pin their favorite styles to boards online. And while you had your ways to keep notes secret, kids today have other ways to make messages disappear. Whether then or now, all kids, especially adolescents, need to assert their independence and explore their own sense of identity as part of their childhood development. Naturally, this often involves risk-taking and looking for peer validation. As parents, though, it's always tough to see our kids ignoring consequences or putting so much of their value onto their peers' feedback. But actually, it's a normal part of their development. Kids need the opportunity to cultivate their emotional, social, and intellectual skills. And to do so, they need to create and explore and experiment and have the supported space to ask the questions about the world around them. The catch is, is that they're doing all this while their frontal lobe, the part of the brain that controls emotions and impulses, is still developing. That's why it's important to talk to your kids about the challenges as well as the opportunities that today's digital landscape offers, because their brains are still being wired. And in a world of digital devices where the outlets are immediate, wide-reaching, and 24-7, the stakes are definitely higher. First, they need to understand that just about everything online is public. Friends of friends can learn about what you had for breakfast. It's searchable. Have you ever Googled your name or your kid's name? It's replicable and shareable. We live in a copy-paste culture where things can literally go viral overnight. It's persistent. Once you click, it's out there, out of your control, and it's almost impossible to track where it's gone. It's sometimes anonymous. While anonymity does allow for healthy exploration, it also can lead to what's called the disinhibition effect, meaning that kids might say or do something that they wouldn't necessarily do offline. And they need to understand that every post, share, or comment creates what we call a digital footprint, which can impact their reputation tomorrow or further down the road. Despite the various pitfalls, the digital world does have great potential for creativity, learning, and social growth. It's an amazing resource that allows for access to information around the clock, learning that can happen anywhere at any time and be personalized or customized, connections and communities that can be made beyond walls and borders, with the world literally at our kids' fingertips, one of parents' biggest tasks now is setting appropriate guidelines and support systems for this new landscape. Because missteps are gonna happen. It's just a part of growing up. The best way to figure out your family's digital lives is by asking questions, staying informed, and exploring this new landscape yourself. 
Better yet, invite your kids to explore it with you. And if you need a little help figuring it all out, we're here for you. Keeping students safe online is extremely important and is a shared responsibility among the school, the parents, and the student. To help students and parents better understand what dangers exist online, the possible consequences of social interactions online, and what parents and students can do to ensure that a student has positive and productive online experiences, we are providing some reading material from the Federal Trade Commission. After reading through this information, parents and students should have an ongoing dialogue about online safety and what each of them can do to ensure the student remains safe online.